LNL Cooling Technologies is the OEM manufacturer of extreme cooling equipment. In this video, we show the Ock X Dual and the new Purge case. The Purge system uses the evaporated liquid nitrogen fed to the Ock heads and recirculates it back into the case. This removes all moisture from the environment inside the case and therefore there is no insulation on any equipment inside the case. So you can go sub-zero with no insulation and no fear of getting water on your expensive gear. Here you see an easy access port. Each purge case is outfitted with four of them, one on each side so that you can get to your gear. And since your gear stays dry, there's never any fear of harming it with messy insulation or water. Here you see the Ock X CPU head being mounted down onto the gear. It's mounted right through the top of the purge case, which is wide open so there's easy access. With every Ock head, you get a full set of gear to do mounting. So you've got your through rods, you've got springs, you've got a back plate, you've got the little knurled nuts. l l cooling heads are extremely easy to mount. In fact, they're as easy or even easier to mount than your standard water systems. Just mount them down to the board, connect the hoses, and you're ready to go. The biggest difference between the l l cooling system and water heads, the aux use liquid nitrogen to cool. So as far as power goes, these are extremely powerful. Also implemented in the aux head, are heaters. So not only is it extremely powerful as far as the cooling goes, but it's also extremely powerful as far as the heat goes. This gives you the opportunity to have a precise temperature set by the controller, controlled through thermal couples also included in the head, which enable the controller to continuously monitor the heat of your component and continuously respond with heating and cooling to your component. All in all, we have extreme power and extreme precision. Now that the CPU head is just about set, we're going to go ahead and mount the GPU head. As with the entire l, &L cooling systems, the GPU heads are also modular. So if you're running SLI, multiple cards, or multiple CPUs, you can run multiple heads. Just as easy as running one head. The GPU head also comes with all hardware that you would need to mount to basically any card, AMD or NVIDIA. In this case, we're mounting this card to Kingpin Cooling Edition GTX 980 Ti NVIDIA card. We're using an 8 stud configuration. And as we said regarding water cooling, mounting your GPU head is just as easy or easier. It's just a matter of mounting the head, connecting the lines, and going for it. All said, mounting a GPU head takes about 5 to 10 minutes tops. Quite a bit less time than it takes to insulate your cards. And because of the dry environment in the purge case, the cards never get ruined from messy insulation or water damage for that matter. The thermal contact surface of the GPU head is raised a little bit off of the base of the GPU head. Therefore, you can have a 360 degree view of the contact that your head is making with your card. This way you can have a nearly foolproof mount on any card. Thermal mount can mean everything. Therefore, l, l Cooling Technologies has taken great care in designing all of our gear to give the user maximum control over mounts. Extreme power and precision are everything with l, &L Cooling Technologies, so all of the elements that are inside the CPU head are also inside the GPU head. Thermal couples, heaters, injection of LN2, it's all in there. 
Accessibility through the top of the purge case is a very big deal, so what we did is we opened the entire case up so you can actually get your arms, hands, you can even get your head down inside there while you're mounting. As you can see here, it's really simple just to reach around the motherboard and make all of your connections. Minor changes to your system, as in rebooting, flipping switches, changing jumpers, reseating the RAM, all of that can be done through the side ports on the purge case. But major changes like changing out your CPU and your GPUs, like changing boards altogether, that can all be done through that upper window. It makes it really easy just to be able to reach in and do what you need to do. Access can be everything in a pinch, so we left the sides and the top, every angle actually, open for accessibility. All of the connections that are being made right now are just power connections to the motherboard and to the GPU. After that, we're going to connect the LN2 feed lines and the exhaust lines to the CPU and GPU heads. This is how the whole system works. The LN2 is fed down to the series of valves on top of the heads. The valves open. The LN2 is injected into the heads. The LN2 down inside the heads evaporates and is sent back up the exhaust. So. As you saw there, it's a pretty simple uh, connected up with the LN2 heads. And as far as connecting the exhausts, that's real simple too. It's just a matter of popping on the exhaust tubes. Those tubes are sent right up to a manifold and then the manifold sends the exhaust right back down into the purge case. Lastly, we connect all of the power to the heads. This is done through a pigtail it comes off of the head, it connects to the controller. The controller has a pigtail designed for however many heads you have in your system. In this particular system, this is the dual system, so we have two heads. So coming out of the back of the pigtail are two series of connections. One goes to each head, a CPU and a GPU. Because the heads are fully modular, if you had the inclination to run dual GPU heads after you already owned a CPU head, or if you just wanted to buy a couple of GPU heads, run your CPU on, no problem, the logic is the same on the side of the controller. Now we're connecting, really quickly, it's about the shortest thing to do, the upper purge case window. And we're controlling the AUK with the tablet and the software set up for the AUK. This is not the control uh, per se, it is the mirror image of the controller. So basically what you have here is an interface that interfaces with the controller. This can be set up on any Windows laptop, so if you have an old pizza box, set it up on that and you can run it on that. Or if you have some super high-tech tablet like we have here, actually our tablet's not that high-tech, but you can run it from either. So as you can see there, you've got the temperature swing down happening, both on the CPU, the bottom, and the GPU on the top. And from this point on, it's just a matter of benching. It's all done with the AUK. The AUK is completely set up and set. Of course, we sped this video up, up about 40% I think. The actual setup time on this was about 15 minutes. Uh, we're at 9 minutes right now. And yeah, so from here out, it's all about the benching and resetting your board if you need to reset your board. If you need to make any changes to the board or whatever, you can do that through the access ports. Otherwise, just go for it. Set some records. That's what this is all about. The video at this point is in real time. It has been uh, since the advent of the interface. So what we wanted to do is just show the actual cooldown time and 
the awk just running. That's what's happening right now. See, simplicity is the key. If you can just set your temperatures and go for it, you can give all of your focus, all of your attention to the game that you're playing, if you've got an intense game, or if you're just trying to benchmark and set records, you can do all of what you need to do outside of thermal control and give complete attention and focus to that. Moving on here, just going to show a couple of quick benches, a quick restart of the system. Basically, what you do when you don't have to control the temperatures anymore. This is going to make benching a lot more simple. As far as controlling temperatures, that is done by the awk. As far as benching, that is done by the system that you've built and yourself with all of your settings. In just a moment here, the computer is going to crash and we're going to reset it through the access window on the side. That access window really simply just opens up and it's just time to go. Press the go button, that's all we do. So there's the system crash, we open up, we push start, close it up, zero ice, and we're rolling. Just a moment, there's going to be a couple of Cinebench benches. As you can see in the background, the purge system is releasing that gaseous nitrogen, keeping that case completely free of oxygen, completely dry in there. I think we run one more bench here and then we're cooling it, actually warming it to warm the system back up. Shut it down. All right, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. That's how you set up and run an AUK, AUKX Dual on a purge case.